Welcome back. The fallout from the solar winds breach is getting worse and worse as we learn more about where and what it hit in government. The Alliance for Digital Innovation has new recommendations for IT modernization for the incoming Biden administration. Matt Cornelius is executive director of the Alliance for Digital Innovation. He's former senior advisor for technology and cybersecurity policy to the federal chief information officer. Matt, uh, thanks for coming on the program. These recommendations that you and your colleagues are making, do they change at all, do you think, in the light of what we're learning about the big cyber breach? Uh, well, first, thanks for having me, Francis. And, and to answer your question, no. In fact, I think the recommendations are more important post solar winds than they were perhaps even before then. Because uh, what we're seeing in IT modernization and accelerating innovation in government is that security can really be the enabler to innovation. It doesn't have to be the impediment to innovation. And I think as we're starting to uh, to scale a lot of these new technologies that we need to see, and we need the government to function more effectively as an enterprise and function more uh, less like individual agencies dealing with individual agency problems and more like a comprehensive, coordinated federal government. Uh, I think a lot of the recommendations we put forward will accelerate that while improving security and getting better outcomes for citizens at the same time. All right, three main pillars of recommendations here. Let's walk through each of them, a thumbnail sure. on each, if you will, please. First one is uh, fixing the way the government acquires and uses technology solutions. I think the government's been talking about this since they've acquired technology solutions. What, what specifically would you like to see happen, Matt? Sure, so uh, there's, there's a few things, right? Part of it is we need a brand new legislative foundation for the way the government uh, should be working with industry to buy and use commercial capabilities going forward. So, uh, you know, a lot of the laws that underpin the way OMB or GSA or, or a lot of federal agencies operate now are 20 and 25 years old. Um, the, the federal market and the, the technology market have moved so much further, so much faster in that time that we really just need uh, a fresh start. So that, that's a big part of it. But even without some sort of comprehensive legislative update, which again is going to be very difficult, there are several other things that uh, by the president-elect Biden's administration and Congress can focus on that can really help here. So part of it is um, better sort of enterprise-wide adoption of commercial capabilities, right? I think you've heard Deputy Federal CEO Maria Rote talk about this, as well as lots of other CEOs in government. And then making sure that agencies have a flexible funding models and rapid acquisition authorities so that they can embrace these as a service capabilities and, and consumption buying patterns and sort of consumption based buying that are so important and is going to drive the innovation agenda going forward. The second one is securing federal networks data and information. Connect your recommendation to your comment earlier that the solar winds hack will drive the need for these changes. Yeah, I think what you've seen with solar winds is, um, you know, agencies really just aren't that unique. Right there, there's there's a lot of devices, there's a lot of hardware and software on agency networks that, um, for whatever reason, um, are not being reported on effectively, uh, and that security is not happening at the pace of technology and at the pace of use in agencies. So, right now, the way sort of FISMA, the Federal Information Security Modernization Act, operates, you know, you have yearly IG assessments, you have quarterly CIO assessments, you know. This, like, that doesn't work in the modern security paradigm. So, like I said earlier, when security, when done poorly and slowly and in a sort of checkbox compliance regime, uh, that is an obstacle to innovation and that's an obstacle to actual useful real time security. So, part of uh, reforming not just um, the way the government uh, sort of collects data and oversees. Uh, federal cybersecurity, you know, as we move to more zero trust models, as we adopt sort of the TIC 3.0 policy and, and move agencies into a more secure telework future, um, we're going to need to be able to collect better data, act on it more timely, and not have a lot of these lags in reporting uh, that lead to a lot of the confusion I think you've seen in some of the early parts of the solar winds response. Matt, just a couple of minutes left for the uh, third uh, pillar, which is creating a strong foundation for the future of IT modernization. What insight do you have for that one based on your tenure at OMB? Sure. So part of this is a recognition that um, a lot of the things we want to do quickly uh, and effectively don't work unless there's a long term foundation for change. So part of that is ensuring that we have a workforce, whether it's a current workforce or new people that are getting into federal service who are well trained and who understand technology, know how to use it effectively, know how to buy it effectively and know where the market's going and know how what's happening in industry, how that can really impact mission and program delivery in government. So that, that's a big part of it. Um, 
One of the other pieces is ensuring that um, uh, the way uh, the government has uh, focused on digital service delivery over the past sort of five or six years, uh, we really need a better comprehensive strategy there. It's, it's not enough to just stand up programs that have shown successes like 18F or the U.S. Digital Service, but we really need President Biden and whoever he's going to have as a GSA administrator, as a CISA director, as a deputy director for management at OMB, they need to come in and really think about what these roles should be, what GSA's mission should be, and really connect policy to implementation so that we can get some sustainable, aggressive, outcomes-driven modernization happening across the board. Matt Cornelius, thanks very much for joining me. It's great to have you on the program again. Thank you, Francis. Appreciate it.